It is time now for the skinny and a big fair that is shared by all of us who work on camera. It happened yesterday live on CNN. Some frightening moments played out for anchor Poppy Harlow, who's six months pregnant, by the way. She apparently fainted while reporting on a story about America's war on ISIS. Bad news for the Obama administration. Uh, we have this new CNN ORC poll, which is quite a quite a uh, turnaround in. in uh, Hard to listen to. It huh? is, absolutely. The network, by the way, quickly cut to a commercial while the Twitterverse exploded over the news, but Harlow was back relatively quickly, reassuring viewers. For all of you on Twitter who are asking if I'm okay, thank you so much. I got a little hot and I, I passed out for a moment. I am fine. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. And for all of you well, on Twitter. Well, late last month, Harlow and her husband announced that they're expecting their third child, excuse me, their first child, the baby, is due this spring. All right. Well, when, yeah. Well, next to some big real estate news for Tom Cruise. Yeah, the Hollywood heavyweight has reportedly put his English estate on the market. The palatial property is in West Sussex. It's believed to be the house that he bought with his third wife, Katie Holmes. Remember that one? Uh, in 2006. The 14-acre estate boasts six bedrooms, eight baths, and is listed for just over $7 million. You're making us wonder why Cruz has apparently been on a tear to shred those properties. Last year, he sold his Hollywood Hills mansion at a loss for $11 million, and he's put his Beverly Hills home on the market for $50 million. Hmm. There's also his 300-acre Colorado compound for $59 million. So where's he living now, the days then? He's selling all these houses. Yeah. All right. Maybe in another house. Yes. Speaking of men of mystery, let's talk about Fox Mulder. And while we're at it, Dana Scully. After 13 years off the air, Fox is bringing back the X-Files, back for a six-episode miniseries next month. And while fans have been titillated by a trickle of photos, teasers, and trailers, series creator Chris Carter has now given us a real whopper. We're talking a 21-minute featurette. That's an episode. It was really putting the band back together. The people you're going to see doing these episodes are the people who actually helped to create the X-Files series. He knew the first and the sixth were... Well, this preview sets up the new episodes by refreshing viewers on where the show left off in 2002. Can you believe how long it's been? And hints at what the new series is all about. But be warned, it is loaded with spoilers. I'm sure you're a fan. I love the X-Files. Yeah, you, you believe the truth is out there? The truth is always out there. <laughs> right. And winters are coming. Winter is coming. All right. You like You'll that? just say everything I say. I'm just going to repeat you like a parrot. Exactly. And since we're on the subject of new releases, Australian pop star Iggy Zalia has posted a short clip of her new song on Twitter. It comes two days after Azalea announced the lead single from her upcoming album called Team. And now we're getting a little taste of it right from apparently her bathroom. Azalea hasn't said when the song will be released, only that it won't be released in January and that it won't be available on iTunes, but on SoundCloud. YouTube and other online platforms. So take that, Steve Jobs. What's that about, huh? Uh, no, but you know, when most of us sing in the bathroom, uh -huh. it's, it's not the sort of songs that you want anybody else to hear. And dare I say it, it kind of sounds like that with Iggy's song here. <laughs> what? Just right now. Really? See, I think she's always great. I look forward to this. I was Dude. in the Apple store, by the way, on the weekend, and I have to say, Taylor Swift, she had that little dust up with Apple, and then they patched things up. She's everywhere in Apple. Uh, all over Apple. Right? Okay. It's fun to watch. No more bad blood.